Welcome to PopeSensei.com's introduction to the TOEIC and TOEFL exams. In the course of the course, the lesson is in the Q&A session. TOEIC and TOEFL are in the Q&A session. The lesson is in the Q&A session. The Q&A session is Welcome everybody to the TOEIC and TOEFL preparation course. We're not going to be using your native languages at all in this course, as we explained. The TOEIC and TOEFL tests are all English. English in, English out. There is no translation, and so we feel it's really best for you to stay in English as much as possible. The lessons of this course will remain on your members' page throughout, and I anticipate you will be listening to them over and over. It'll provide good listening practice, as well as preparing you for the test and the best chances that you'll have for success. The first thing that I'd like to talk about here in the introductory lesson is that the question, why are we looking at both the TOEIC and the TOEFL together in this introduction and in this course? Both tests are created by ETS, the Educational Testing Services of Princeton, New Jersey. And so, they have many of the same characteristics and we can think as we're approaching them, we can think about how we're going to prepare in, in much the same way. Another reason why we look at both together in this introduction is that both tests are whole language. You know, English is a very big language and these tests use all of it to create their questions and materials. There's some of the highest level vocabulary, some of the lowest level vocabulary, and a lot of vocabulary in between. There's low level grammar, high level grammar, and grammar in between. So, whether you're preparing for the TOEIC or preparing for the TOEFL, you need to take in language on many different levels and get as much of the natural whole English language as possible in order to prepare for your best score. Another reason why we bring the TOEIC and TOEFL together in this course is both of them require you to think a little more deeply about how you're going to study, how you're going to prepare to take each test. They're big tests, they're difficult tests, they test the whole language. So the best idea to create your best chance of success is to plan what you're doing in preparation. Okay. We also want to set some goals, and the important thing about our goals is they need to be realistic. I've had a lot of different students come to me and say, well, I'm going to take the TOEIC test next month. Can you help me prepare? And if a student has taken the TOEIC test before, if you've taken the TOEIC test before, and you have a fairly high score, in a month I can help you get much higher than your last test. But if you've never taken the TOEIC or TOEFL test before and you think you're going to take it one month from now and be successful, I'm sorry, that's not a very realistic goal. You're going to need more time than one month to prepare for your best chance for your highest score for TOEIC or TOEFL. That's not to say that you shouldn't take the test if you've paid for it and you've scheduled it. Any test taking experience will help you immensely and we'll talk about that more in this course. So in the final segment of this introduction, point three, I'd like to talk a little bit more about the four skills natural approach. For those of you who have taken course 101, Resetting Your Mind, and course 201, the natural four skills approach to communication, this will be a little bit of a review. For those of you who have not taken those courses, I'd like to briefly touch on the materials we covered there and remind everyone that, you know, there are multiple intelligences. Reading and remembering and studying in school is a linguistic intelligence, we call it. And some of us are very good at that. Some of us have struggled with those classes in school like English history and that. As we approach these tests, we need to remember that because they're the whole language, because they test everything, we can utilize many of our different intelligences. Some of us are more spatial. We do better when we're learning in a video setting like this. For some of us, the textbooks and the preparation books for these tests will help us greatly. For others, maybe they need to listen to things more. 
their audio, they learn from hearing as much as they do from watching. And for still others, it's, it will help them most if they take words and sentences and ideas in English and diagram them out, create charts, create pictures that depict things. They're spatial in their learning. We want to be able to use all of our intelligences to our best advantage when preparing for the test. And again, natural. We need to approach the learning of the language for these tests in a very natural way. By natural, I mean in the same way that you learned your first language. As children, we begin speaking in imitation of our parents. And then we begin hearing storybooks read to us and maybe we start reading a few storybooks for ourselves. And our language grows and we go to school and we start learning to write. And we start writing and reading. We write about what we read. We speak about what we're doing. We talk to our parents and teachers. And in that same way, we need to incorporate all four skills in a natural acquisition of the language to the best of our ability. These tests are created by native speakers of English. They test only English. And so the better you can use all of your intelligences and a natural acquisition pattern for the language, the higher your scores will be. So let's get started now on our first lesson of the course to introduce the TOEIC and TOEFL tests.